Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a histogram in Excel 2016. A simple histogram assuming that all your bins, all your classes are the same width. My data is in column A and I'm selecti I've selected these bin limits. And I can actually create uh, the bins by using equals uh, this one and then the quotation sign, smaller than sign and again this one and now actually the bins are nicely formulated um, depending on uh, which rule you apply the number of bins itself is actually field and statistics uh, and there's actually plenty of different rules to uh, that you can choose from to determine how many bins you should use I will not be going into that in order to calculate the frequencies, I might first want to calculate the cumulative frequencies. There is actually in the data analysis of uh, Excel, if you installed that uh, tool pack, then uh, there is a histogram option which will actually calculate the cumulative frequencies, uh, but doesn't do much else. And the f histogram it will produce is not really a histogram. So, cumulative frequencies are simply to use the count if, and then in column A, I'm going to count how many times there is a value that is less than and then the end 20. Enter, copy paste this down and this will actually give me cumulative frequency. So there are 1871 people that had an age of lower than 80. So the frequency of the first one is simply now this one and of the next one is the difference between the two uh, the two different free uh, cumulative frequencies once you have the frequencies you can also opt to calculate percentages if you like from these frequencies uh, and plot those in the histogram I'll simply be plotting the frequencies now Excel does actually have an option to plot a histogram straight from the data Just click on the age column then go to insert and then select at the insert statistic chart you can actually add the histogram and uh, this uses I think Sturge's rule to determine the number of bins and I haven't figured any way out to actually change the number of bins there so that's not what I want I want to do it based on my data so I'll select the ages and the frequency column and then go for insert and actually insert a bar chart a simple one and the main difference now is that the bar shouldn't have any gaps so I'll simply click on one of the bars so that all of them get selected and then in my uh, properties window you can also double click sometimes that will then actually open up these go to the series options and make sure that there are no gaps and that actually changes the gaps if you click outside it you notice that the borders are gone which might actually still be useful so I'll click once on them again go to the properties uh, sorry go to the fill and line select the solid line and black is fine and now the bars are actually better visible you might want to label always your vertical axis so on the design ribbon go to add chart element axis title a vertical one and label relabel the axis to frequency in my example then the horizontal axis might also be useful so again add chart element primary horizontal one and simply type in H you can also change the colors if you like remove those grid lines etc etc but the basic histogram is like this then now usually it would be here a scale and not showing as categories uh, but that doesn't matter much I think because these are all uh, the same width so there's not a big problem I have a separate video uh, about what to do for a histogram if you actually have different bar widths but I'll uh, use that in a different video okay hope this was helpful for you